Hello to all students. I am Professor Masood Fuzair. In this video lecture, today we are going to discuss biological rhythms. Biological rhythms are specialized rhythms or cyclic activities which occurs in all living organisms including microorganisms, fungi, plants, animals and human beings. So there is a branch of biology which is known as chronobiology in which we study these types of rhythms. So there are many types of biological rhythms which occur in different living organisms at different time of the day. So the most important uh, biological rhythms are circadian rhythms. Circadian rhythms are such rhythms which are usually occur at a 24 hour period which is equal to a day. There are some other biological rhythms like ultradian rhythms which occurs less than 24 hours a day and there are circannual rhythms which takes place after every 365 days or which is equal to one year. There are certain other types of uh, rhythms also present in different kind of animals. Some animals are active during the day. They are usually known as diurnal. Some animals are active during the night. These animals are known as nocturnal like all. Some animals are active during dusk and dawn. These animals are known crepuscular like deer. And some animals uh, have a biological rhythms known as infradian which are more than a day. So how these biological rhythms work and how these uh, biological rhythms takes place, we have to discuss these rhythms in detail. So first of all, these uh, I'm going to discuss uh, uh, an example of biological rhythm in human being. So I have already made a diagram for you. This is a clock which represents the circadian rhythm of a human being. So in this clock, as you can see right over here, this is a time of midnight, which is 12 a.m. At this time, usually a person should sleep in. So when a person falls asleep at 2 a.m., he went into a state which is known as deepest sleep but usually the modern life or modern living conditions uh, has deviated the human has deviated this life uh, this lifestyle so at 2 a.m you should be in a deepest sleep at 4 30 a.m your body temperature become lowest due to the uh, conditions of the body at that time 6 a.m is going to be time for awakening at 645 your blood pressure will rise so that you can wake up and perform your normal body activities at 7 30 a.m melatonin hormone which is produced during night in the absence of light now has been st stopped so that you can wake up when melatonin stops at and you wake up and you, you start your day at 10 a.m. your alertness becomes highest because you have taken breakfast, taken some tea or coffee and uh, at this time you are very active. At 12 noon and uh, after 12 noon at 2.30 p.m. your coordination is best at this time. At 3.30 p.m. your reaction rate is fastest. At 5 p.m your muscle strength is maximum evening starts 6 p.m. and your blood pressure is highest at 6 30 p.m. then body temperature is highest at 7 p.m. and right after sunset at 9 o'clock your body start yawning and uh, melatonin production or secretion has been started so that you can go into a sleep cycle so you go to bed and you go to into sleep then this cycle is repeated every 24 hours and your body undergo different physiological changes during this cycle this cycle is known as circadian rhythms so such rhythms are usually present in all kind of organism like plants like animals like fungi like microorganisms and they perform daily activities depending upon 
विच टाइप ऑफ रिदम दे आर हैविंग सम रिदम्स आर यूजली नाउन एज सर्कैनुअल रिदम्स विच अकर एवरी ईयर लाइक वैन विंटर कम्स यू स्टार्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर विंटर दिस कम्स एवरी ईयर सो दैट इज़ ए सर्कैनुअल रिदम समर कम्स यू प्रिपेयर योर बॉडी फॉर समर सीजन एंड दिस कम्स एवरी ईयर सो दैट इज ऑल्सो नाउन एज सर्कैनुअल रिदम्स सो इन दिस वे देर आर सम रिदम्स विच आर मोर और लेस दैन दैट लाइक मैस्ट्रल साइकिल इन फीमेल दे आर ऑल्सो एस रिदम्स बट दे आर नॉट यूजली सर्केडियन और नॉट सर्केन वर्ल्ड सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम एंड वट कंडीशन दे हैव एंड वट साइकिल दे आर गोइंग टू हैव नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वट आर द वट आर द इम्पोर्टेंट रोल ऑफ दीज रिदम इन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम और स्पेशली इन ह्यूमन बॉडी दीज बायोलॉजिकल रिदम्स और स्पेशली सर्केडियन रिदम्स रेगुलेट स्लीप वेक साइकिल एज आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन राइट ओवर हेयर हाउ वी गो टू स्लीप एंड हाउ वो वेक अप एंड परफॉर्म ऑल द डेली एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द लाइफ सो स्लीप वेक साइकिल आर ऑल्सो मेनटेन्ड बाई सर्केडियन रिदम्स विच आर बायोलॉजिकल रिदम्स इन ह्यूमन दीज रिदम्स ऑल्सो मेनटेन बॉडी टेम्परेचर वट टेम्परेचर विल बी एट नाइट एंड वट टेम्परेचर विल बी एट द डे इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द साइकिल हारमोन सक्रीशन डिफरेंट हारमोन्स आर सक्रीटेड एट डिफरेंट टाइम ऑफ द डे so these hormone production is regulated by these rhythms metabolism is also controlled by uh, these rhythms blood pressure urine production blood sugar and blood cholesterol are also usually monitored and maintained uh, in a narrow range uh, depending upon the condition of the body by these biological rhythms so sometime we uh, disturb these kind of biological rhythms by our activities so there are certain activities which can disturb these biological rhythms so first of all i am going to discuss jet lag disorder that jet lag disorder is usually experienced by pilots uh, air hostesses and the travelers who are traveling across the globe uh, to a long distance and traveling through different time zone they usually experience jet lag experience during jet lag experience when you go through when you pass through different time zone of the uh, world usually your wake sleep wake cycle disturbs and you start uh, having a fatigue depression anxiety and some other biological issue and difficulty in sleeping so it is very important uh, that uh, you maintain your uh, jet lag disorder by keeping an artificial uh, circadian rhythm to your body delayed sleep phase disorder this is a very big problem for the modern era that uh, usually young generation is not sleeping at the time they used to sleep so they go to their bed very late in the night and they disturb their wake cycle and the people who work in the night shift they also disturb their sleep wake cycle or circadian rhythms irregular sleep wake rhythm disorder in this condition people sleep at irregular time awake at irregular time they also disturb their sleep wake cycle so usually uh, we need to go to the bed at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock whatever the time is and then you have to wake up just in the morning this is a regular sleep so most of the people they do not care about that and they disturb this sleep wake cycle by different activities so what happen if the Uh, these uh, we sleep wake cycle are disturbed you can get so many problems in your body first of all insomnia anxiety depression high blood pressure high sugar level and uh, fatigue and so many diseases which can be produced as a result of disturbance in the sleep wake cycle so that is why it is very important that you go to bed at a fixed regular time and wake up at the morning after sleeping 8 to 10 hours a day so what if you uh, are having a disturbance in biological rhythm you can start uh, to make it better and what is the treatment to make it better that you in the in the day you soak sunlight take plenty of light uh, go outside have some light if you work inside go some time to spend outside go to the bed at time at regular time whatever your sleeping time is try to go to the um, uh, try to going to bed at uh, as early as as possible exercise during the day if you are not if you are working uh, in a such a condition that do not have any exercise so 
let your body do some exercise so you, you get so that you can get some tiredness and you can sleep easily at the night avoid too much caffeine there are certain people they are taking too much caffeine like in the form of uh, uh, cold drinks energy drinks caffeine in the coffee and the tea and they are taking too much caffeine that is very bad for you because it's going to take you towards insomnia and insomnia will leads to the disturbance in the uh, disturbance in the life cycle in the biological uh, circadian cycle so avoid caffeine avoid artificial light especially at the night when you are working on a, your cell phone or on a laptop or on a led light led tv uh, there is light coming into your eyes which shows that still there is a day but actually that is the time that you are going to sleep so that will disturb your circadian rhythms and uh, you can get uh, any any kind of uh, ailment or any kind of problem in your body so try to avoid these things so how this mechanism work actually this cycle is controlled by our brain so look at this diagram this is our diagram of a brain this is the part of the brain which is known as cerebrum just beneath the cerebrum there is a thalamus and just thalamus below the thalamus there is a part of the brain which is known as hypothalamus hypothalamus has a specialized region right over here which is known as suprachiasmatic nucleus scn that is actually the region which controls the uh, circadian rhythms or biological rhythms which and this uh, uh, suprachiasmatic nucleus is controlled by light so when light falls on our eyes it reaches to this region and then this region produces output in the form of rhythms and these rhythms can be physiological and behavioral and uh, this uh, uh, suprachiasmatic nucleus is also known as biological clock and it is also known as endogenous clock so there is a, a clock fixed in your brain which is known as endogenous clock uh, and while, while the exogenous clock is the clock which is we have discussed right over here which is present uh, in our in the form of our clocks or in the watches in which we have 12 pm 12 am 3 pm 4 pm etc but there is a special clock which is present inside your brain and it is working constantly according to the sunrise and sunset moonrise and moonset and that will definitely accurate and if you don't disturb it uh, it will guide you throughout the life and it will guide you all the activities of the life during the day and the during the night so at the morning when you wake it will it will make you wake up and at at the evening or after sunset it will make you go to bed and sleep so but we have uh, disturbed this cycle um, and uh, have uh, disturbed our biological rhythms so how this works so first of all external light which comes from any source it falls on our eyes eyes contain retina retina is a layer innermost layer of the eye which contain photoreceptors in the form of rods and cones rods and cone produce vision color vision usually but there are certain photoreceptors which send signals to scn suprachiasmatic nucleus which is a biological clock present in our brain in the epithalamus this uh, sends signal to pineal gland pineal gland is also present in the uh, thalamus region of the uh, hypothalamus region of the brain which is in the form of in the shape of a pine and this uh, hormone this gland produces a hormone which is known as melatonin when melatonin is produced in the absence of sunlight it will make you sleep and it will uh, force your body to go to the bed and go to sleep so when melatonin secretion start you go to bed and when melatonin secretion stop you wake up and then you perform your daily activities so when we have uh, disturbed by uh, our uh, melatonin melatonin production through any artificial light or any external source and then whole sleep wake cycle disturbs and uh, we 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 should we could have a different kind of uh, uh, diseases which can produce in our body so stay healthy live healthy and uh, try to make up your cycle regular by going bed on the time and then waking up at regular time so that's all for today i hopefully it makes sense and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye